I'm Greg Zanis, inventor of DreamCar123.com. Here, what you see are three 10-foot pieces of track. And my next step will be to build another eight or 10 of these and have 100 feet of track to try to see how fast I can get the tunnel to go down 100 feet. So as before, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to run these balls through there so you can take a look at it. leaf blower that goes 200 miles an hour plus 240 so this tunnel theoretically there's one here and one down at the other end one this one on this end is blowing air down the tunnel and the one at the other end is pulling air down the tunnel so there's no drag on the car it's the only way that a, a fast rail or a car is ever going to be able to go fast in a tunnel is to pull and push it. If you're going in a tunnel, like if it's the Allegheny Tunnels, you'll see as soon as you go into it with a semi, you're coming up against a headwind and it's stopping it. So the car will be theoretically able to go two, three hundred miles an hour, almost as fast as an average airplane. Technically, it should be able to go five or six hundred miles an hour. It, instead of using these, we'd like to try to use some type of turbine. So the only way we're going to have fast rail in this country is my way. Thank you very much, Greg Zanis.